What is going on, everybody? Casually Crypto here with a quick emergency broadcast here. Pancake Bunny, or no, also known as Bunny Token, had a crash massively just this last 24 hours, going from uh, 240 down to the lowest point of even just down to the single digit territories before recovery. This is horrible if you uh, have been holding on to uh, the bunny token, if you've been farming it. Uh, this is um, Casualty Crypto. I'm just reporting on what is happening in this space. If you are new to DeFi, you're new to uh, the Binance Smart Chain, if you're new to crypto, remember to just like the button, smash uh, smash uh, the, the subscribe, and tick the little bell notification icon. We're going to be covering everything DeFi, you farming and crypto analysis so that you can make a well-informed decision in this space we know that a lot of people can get wrecked a lot of dangers in this space so let's get right to it so uh bunny token which is a token for uh bunny pancake bunny finance one of probably a crowd favorite uh you aggregator for a long time recently suffer an attack the token at its highest point was soaring at about like $500 per bunny token. Now it's sitting at about like $38, a massive, almost like, almost a, a like, almost like a, he, like a huge uh, drop right there. Like almost like a 95% drop right there. Um, If you got in at $500 and now you're just holding $38 a token, uh, my condolence goes out to you, but it's not the end. Um, fortunately, they do have a plan right here, and you can tell that uh, they are boosting up uh, the uh, the rewards right now with uh, some yields going up to about like four thousand percent to repay those who have been affected. So I'm just going to quickly go over their uh, go forward plan where they talk about what just happened. So if you are not aware, uh, Packet Bunny, um, they are. Uh, they are um, pancake swaps. Uh, well, they don't. Own, they're not owned by pancake swap, but they are a U aggregator for anyone who is on pancake swap. They give people the opportunity to compound their rewards without having to go there every day and hitting that uh, compound button. It's great for those who want to put their farming on autopilot, but unfortunately, with Bunny, they got hacked. They suffer an economic attack, meaning. Their, their vaults are safe, but somebody was able to mint a lot of bunny tokens and dump them over, uh, down on the exchange, causing the price of bunny to crash. So you can see right here, right? They say that um, the vaults are safe, but the price got crashed. Got, they got tanked massively. Uh, uh, fortunately, the code has been fixed, and now they have a plan where they want to reimburse as much as possible, uh, the value loss right, over the next 90 days. And right now, uh, they managed to get a snapshot of the of the val total value of all the bunny holders at about $39 million. So it seems like uh, Pancake Bunny, they are dedicated to helping the original bunny token holders who get to get the money back or at least as much of the value back right which is pegged at 39 million dollars right and they have a number of uh compensation avenues to do so and so which i'll probably i'll quickly go over each one of them so to start off um the vault right it was safe they mentioned right what happened was somebody took a flash loan attack and managed to uh hack I guess um, they managed to um, like use a flash loan attack to get the old pancake swap version one to mint a lot of bunny tokens, and they didn't. And then they dump, decided to dump it onto the market, crashing the price, which we all know. And right now, they plan to uh, they plug the leak within the hour. And they want to help everybody who has been affected, all the bunny token holders, get the money back. And they are doing so by increasing uh, the number of bunnies that will be minted. So you can see, right, they want to increase the emission rate. They also plan to, they plan to uh, give everybody uh, 
I guess I'm like a rep a replacement token known as a platinum bunny. And and then they also were willing to willing to uh share more of uh, the team's uh stake because right now uh right now I believe uh I believe uh yeah the team gets about like fifteen bunnies for every bunny that's minted. They're willing to share more of that, right? To to the token holders, to the community, right? To those who've been affected, they're willing to uh yeah put that into I guess the performance fee into the compensation pool. They also plan to uh they also plan to like use. Uh, set up a new bunny, right? As I mentioned about platinum bunny, right? A new token called P bunny, platinum bunny, and they'll they'll airdrop it to all the original bunny holders. Um, one thing I'm most curious about is, like, when they say all the original bunny holders, does it mean like people who are holding onto bunny at the time of the hack, or does it hop off uh those people who got bunny tokens but then they stake they stake their bunny tokens into like one of these vaults. Like, are these people? I'm um, like, are they eligible for the airdrop? I'm curious to know, and I would love to hear from them on that. Right, and then lastly, they want to compensate people with uh like any funds that they can recover, right? Through uh working with the security team on Binance, if they're able to recover those, they can do. They want to give those back, but uh, how effective this is, um, we don't know. I mean, I haven't heard of scenarios where Binance was able to recover the funds, but uh, but this is but this is a project that is on Binance, so on the Binance Smart Chain. So Binance has a lot of incentive, a lot of intrinsic uh, motivation to like find a solution because their platform, their smart chain, is at stake. And then lastly, um, Bunny plans to give everybody compensate people with uh, the QFI token contribution. So they are going to be airdrop, airdropping um QFI tokens to Bunny holders, platinum, platinum Bunny holders. And notice how they say that uh they're gonna launch in sixty days and they're gonna drop like QFI tokens one to one to P Bunny holders. So this is an interesting way with what they're doing. They they're willing to compensate people, but they don't want people to sell out to cut the losses short. They want people to hold on to the tokens as like as the token uh, recover in value or for whatever reason. So they want people, they're doing what they can to keep people within the bunny ecosystem. They don't want people to rage quit or leave early. So yeah, so I mean, these are some good incentives right there, right? Whether this is uh, holding on to like platinum bunny to... To get uh, for thirty days for ninety days actually yeah, for ninety days to get your know, compensation back or getting the airdrop uh, these are some different ways that they are using to compensate and uh, for those who lost their lost their uh, token like all at least lost the token value right I do hope that uh, these compensation plans will get back will help you recover as much as you've lost and you can see with the plan they hope to help people get the 39 million dollars back and also get a bit more right up to like 79 million dollars and whether the total compensation plan within 90 days will work out uh, we will see in the next yeah, 90 days and yeah what happened was unfortunate and it is a huge lesson for everyone to be aware that if things do happen like you do need to you can't like put all your eggs in one basket right uh there are other like you aggregator platforms out there, like platforms like uh, Auto Farm, platforms like uh, Merlin Finance, and and sometimes uh, you do need to you do need to uh, spread your risk if you feel that you're you're too concentrated on just one platform, and and that is and yeah, this is will this will always be an inherent risk within the DeFi space. A lot of these projects have billions locked up, billions of billions of dollars of value locked up, and they are like massive targets for hackers. And especially for like, if these projects are run by like small teams of people, like small startup teams, where they happen to have hit a home run, hit the DeFi lottery, and got like a, over a billion dollars locked up, 
they haven't scaled fast enough yet to develop the security. So, so yeah, so my wish for everybody in the DeFi space is uh, to be safe out there, right? Uh, be safe out there and make sure you practice different risk management techniques to ensure that you don't get wrecked. You do not fall victim to a wreck pole or to a hack out there. So, yeah, so that's it for everybody. Um, yeah, I do hope that it does go up because uh, it's not easy watching your token like lose a lot of value. So, so this is uh, yeah. So this is just a quick update to what is happening in the DeFi space and the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. And I wish you guys the best of luck and be safe out there. Peace and love, my friends, and God bless.